So hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review, and this one is on Nick Bluetooth and Gorm Deluxe from 2002, of course. So I'll start off with the box, oh, with, or with one box entry that I have right here, which, as you can see, is which actually a blister pack, which we kind of see from time to time from Lego. Same with like Toamari and Bionicle 2007, and of course uh, the Ninjago Spinners and uh, Chima Speedors that there were in 2011 through 13, of course. But yeah, Just since of course they rip quite easily, of course. But yeah, unless you were lucky enough to have it kept intact. But yeah, so on the front of the. Uh, on the on the front of the package, as had the Galador Defenders of the Outer Dimension review, or I mean logo of course, and also in show picture of Nick Bluetooth and the name of course, and says Deluxe there, and set number eight three one three, and of course the uh, blister here, which kind of like the TDN module, uh, canopy a bit, of course, and. Down below it says ages four and up, choking hazard, Lego.com, and Galador.com, which not active anymore. Which, if you look that up, it would redirect you somewhere, but yeah. And on the back of which, as you can see, of the Lego logo, the logos again, and how you can like swap out pieces, of course, and all the pieces of the set there are, and also out of all the. the sets of course and how you can swap pieces with him and Gorm of course and little scanner code and choking hazards and yeah. Oops. And now also included with both of which is this little Lego club insert. Join for free of course. Which can fold out. And there's the same thing but in like Spanish or something. Oops. And of course, a little uh, mail in type of bit of it. But of course, nowadays, for something like this, you go online to do. The back side is out of like magazine, uh, which with Bonacle Oduamata there on one cover. And of course, all the stuff that you can get from this. And yeah. So to start out with, uh, hang on. Which is with a uh, Nick Deluxe, of course. Which, as you can see, most of which quite similar to the regular Nick Bluetooth, which I'll go over in a bit, but with a few uh, differences here and there, of course. Just like. One, like the only thing that's quite the same are the lower arms and the head bit, of course. And now for a little brief comparison is with the regular one here is, as you can see, that the shoes bits of which are in black and are black with this burnt orange color on top. And the other is uh, dark gray with black on top and has like darkish gray okay, legs part bits and irregular with a uh, blue of course have bright blue and dark blue for the upper part and suddenly just lightish purple for the rest of which which of course the McDonald's version also did have but yeah and also as you can see doesn't have this little bit to it but yeah and for the accessories which are different for this version is you get the important tablet piece here which of course slips into his hands quite goodly and it's nice and secure in there and of course what in the first episode of the show what Allegra thought called a new video game of his is but of course it was like the map of the outer dimension of course but yeah and of course and also for the other accessories for him is get these little wing accessories 
which you can also get in the TDN modules. So we'll set a course you can attach on like so. And representing that part in the show when he glitched these wings, of course. Although to me, for that that's in that scene it, the wings looked a little bit different. I'm not sure not sure if that was me, just me or whatever. But although in this scene in the show, he which is like wearing this kind of shirt when the doing so, but maybe they just wanted to differentiate just a slight bit for that to course, but yeah. And of course these wing pieces you can kind of use for some like a ship set mocks if you want to oh although kind of makes them top heavy if you're not balancing it right but yeah and also you get two with this set is two of these little missiles which also do work with the like old style spring load launchers of course but it has it's like a fully like filled in piece rather than with some holes in it kind of interesting and of course you can like put that in and you can like tap some bit to it and it fires like so and also nice detailing on that piece of course but yeah and that is it with Nick and now on to Gorm Deluxe here which as you can see almost everything of him quite the same as regular uh edition gorm of course but it's the only thing difference are the like uh printing all over him and also the right uh right arm to bit to him but aside that not everything quite the same but not much to say but of course but as for this golden printing, which quite nicely done, of course, but although for this these purple bits that there are, same as the regular version, but I think what they could have been in gold as well to also kind of differentiate a bit, but yeah. And now on to the other arm, which just fixed in place, of course. And if you like push this thing to a little bit and it launches off like so and the missile piece here as you can see all soft rubber so so people won't be hurt quite as much and of course same lower bit as the regular missiles of course but although it does look kind of barren without an, an additional hand although it would be nice if like just two more of these pieces is also came with this set so you can swap that out if you want but although you can get it separate off bricklink if you wanted but yeah and also you do get uh, two of these missiles so you won't worry about losing them quite so much and these holes on the back is on the back of some packagings it says that you can like mount those on if you wanted And so now for a little comparison, of which with the regular Gorm here, as the, of which quite a lot more printing to this one, like with all the gold and whatnot, instead of just the purple tune. But also on, and also some purple on the head bit, when the regular version does not have that. Kind of weird how that is, but as for the back part of which, which as he does have one of those add-on armor pieces which on both so it's on both front and back but regular version does not have that probably guess they just wanted to add it a little bit more but of course with this regular version did come with some additional arm bit piece to him but yeah so yeah I guess that is it with that Let's let me get everything in here. So 
So overall, I think these of which are quite nice figures right here. Like you get, although they may be kind of similar to the regular versions of them, but of course deluxe, which often means a little bit extra, but like of course to get some extra accessories to these sets like the wing bits and the missiles and of course the map tablet obviously and yeah although i think the and of course once again i think the nick bluetooth could have had the regular blue shirt like the regular version had or the add-on armor bit mm -hmm. as well but yeah and gorma which uh I think the claw hand bit also could have been included here, but maybe that'd be a little too much, to, too similar to the regular version, but yeah. But although about how they are for this, I can kind of forgive how they came out, but yeah. And it's still good for what they are, for as is, but yeah. And so now if you all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.